take two. Hi, Puka here with me. If you notice in my previous video, he was a lot hairier. It's summer, so he needs to be shaved. Now he won't stop looking at me. He loves me a little too much. Um, hi, Puka. Okay, no, no, stop that. No, just say no. Okay. Um, this video is actually a quick, quick video. It's not my week mark yet. That'll be tomorrow, Tuesday. Um, the 11th, right? Yeah, tomorrow's the 11th. I thought tomorrow was the 12th. I don't know why. Anyways, I just realized that. Okay, I'm lost. Woohoo! Um, proteins! Yay! This is a video for more of the people who are, um, pre op and either going through the process or considering it and just looking up, you know, how this whole thing works. Uh, if you guys don't know, I am a vertical sleeve patient. Ugh. I got sleeved roughly, it'll be six weeks tomorrow. On April 30th, I got sleeved. So, sorry, I'm like with my dog and then trying to focus on what I'm trying to say. But anyways. So, yeah, protein. I've been trying to drink my protein when I'm supposed to, but this past week, for like four days or something like that, I wasn't really drinking protein. I would eat my chicken and eggs, everything that has protein in it, but actual drinking protein shakes, protein drinks and of any sorts, um, I just didn't think about it and I just didn't do it. Basically, I was drinking mostly water than anything else, especially those really hot days. And by the time the week came, I was really tired and weak and then I couldn't really do much. Puka down. Come on. Down, baby. Down. Go play with your babies. Go play your toys. Yeah. Anyways, sorry about that. Um, yeah, Saturday I hosted a party as well, and I just did it so much, and I was just exhausted. I had to take a nap in the middle of the day before the party. 30-minute nap. And look, it's only, oh, excuse me, it's only 4 p.m., and that's how I get, and I've been up since 9.30. So I, sh you know, normally, I'm not supposed to do it, but this is what happens after surgery. You do get tired pretty quickly, especially if you've been running around all day like I have. I only got home like an hour ago. So... Um, but protein drinks is very important. I advise you to try a bunch before surgery. I don't mean one shot, you know, try start like a month or two months <laughs> prior to surgery. And start trying different kind of proteins with low sugar, little to no sugar, like five grams or less of sugar, like you're supposed to keep it. It is very difficult, especially if you know, the taste gets to you, like, this gets to me all the time, like, I want to gag half the time with these drinks, and you get used to it after a while, it smells ten times worse than it tastes, but still the taste is pretty bad, so I advise you to try drinking some and getting used to it before surgery of some sort, try and find something you like, if possible, and, you know, at least that will help make your decision what you want to do in the future if you still want to go along with the surgery because protein is mandatory. It's not optional. It is highly mandatory. And without it, you could get very weak and tired like I did. I was like, I looked like a drunk person. The way I walked, the way I talked, everything this past weekend, I was completely out of it. I didn't want to drive and there goes my dog barking like a maniac, like always. But... Yeah, it was insane. So, I advise you, Puka, please. Thank you. I advise you to start drinking a couple before surgery. I just started trying Ensure, which has 5 grams of sugar and 25 grams of protein in a nice medium, small bottle type of thing. It's like this, like a typical Ensure. You find it at Walmart. It's like a pack for four for eight bucks, and that's expensive for four bottles. So I tried it today because um, my friend's daughter said she tried the vanilla one. She really liked it in school, but obviously the, the one they serve in school and the one with the high protein, it has different amount of sugar. Um, the one she was referring to, it has uh, like 22 grams of sugar in it, so compared to 5 grand. So I'm sure that's why she liked it, but um, I decided to try it anyway, see how it tastes. It tastes like everything else. It's the protein. The protein is what makes it nasty beyond beliefs, and yeah, I cannot har hardly tolerate anything with milk, um, 
it's more the texture than anything else. It's that smooth texture. I don't know why. Um, well, I know someone why it's more psych, um, more psychology. I can't pronounce it, but mental um, than anything else. Um, growing up, I was not a big fan of milk. Even now, I'm not a big fan. I try drinking milk. It'll, my body rejects it instantly. So it's just been that way my whole life. And I guess even with soy milk, it's the same thing, just for texture, not not because of the lactose or anything, just texture. Um, I do have, I am lactose intolerant too, so I avoid it. Other than that, that's my advice for you when it comes to protein. Yeah, I tried many different, I tried the nectar, I got injury. Injury is supposed to be, they have the unflavor. It doesn't work very well with cold products. It stays chunky and it's very hard to get it down. So that you have to do with like hot chocolate or whatever. Um, coffee type of thing. You put it in coffee. It should be fine. I never tried it that way, but I always try cold stuff. I'm not a big fan of hot stuff. So I like my coffee iced. <laughs> I like my tea iced. So I don't like hot stuff to drink. I'm going to have to figure out something to tolerate this thing because I chug this for hours, like hours. I, have to, I make my blender ball bottle um, with a minimum of 40 grams of protein in it. I use the one flavors I have from Nectar, and I put another scoop of Unjury in it and try to get my protein that way. I do eat a lot of protein throughout the day, so it does equal out to about 60, maybe a little bit more a day if I'm lucky. So I think total per cup the blender bar I have like 46 because like each of them is like 23 so like 46 grams of protein in one cup and I do drink that all day long so that's that it's my tip for y'all good luck